Hello friends, followers and channel members. So today in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 we're going to be talking about transferring the custom camera views you may have had set up for your default A320 Neo into the new fly-by-wire A320 NX aircraft which is now a standalone version. By now you'll have known that Fly-by-wire have made their A320 NX no longer reliant upon the default Airbus A320 NX in the simulator and it is its own standalone aircraft, which is great news. But for those of you that have set up custom camera views here in Microsoft Flight Simulator for use within the default Airbus A320 Neo, it means that you will have now lost those when using the new fly-by-wire A320 NX as it is a new aircraft. It no longer uses the details and configuration files of the default Airbus A320. So custom camera views I've had set up for a while now and they're just great. It means that we can flip between wing views etc and if you want to know how to do this check out my channel for uh, a tutorial video on setting up these custom views and of course once you bind them to uh, keys on your flight stick or wherever it means that you can freely move around and uh, show off some great scenery and uh, camera angles whilst, uh, whilst flying away. So how do we set these up? It's actually pretty straightforward when you know how. It'll take you 30 seconds. So here's what we need to do. First of all, here's the community folder. Now the community folder, we don't touch anything in here. I've literally just brought this up because it means that I can access the folder that we need to find. So we want to go back and find the long Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, uh, which then has the local cache double click that and then we're coming down to sim objects once we've selected sim objects then you'll see that this has got all your aircraft and uh, different uh, liveries and things looks a little bit like your community folder um, but it has a bit more information in here and the folder that we're looking for now is this one just here airplanes now if we click in there you'll see that actually there are only five folders listed here and these are folders for aircraft that you have got custom views set up for. So as you can see here, I've also got custom views set up for the Aerosoft CIJ 550-700, also the uh, Project Megapack A330, and this one here, which is the default Zobo A320neo. Now, when you come into this folder for the very first time, you will probably only have uh, any of the aircraft that you've set up custom camera views for which means that the fly-by-wire A320neo folder is most likely not there. So don't panic if you're looking at this folder and you can't find this uh, this item. We need to add that. The way, best way I, uh, to do that, make sure there's no typos or typing errors and so that everything matches up correctly, is if you just jump back one folder to the Sim Objects folder, which is where we were previously, scroll down until you find the fly-by-wire A320neo folder and if you just copy that then go back to the airplanes folder and paste that in there. I'm obviously not going to do it in this video because I've already got it in but if you paste that in there. Now when you open up that folder what you will find is, let me just jump back again to show you what's in that folder, what is actually in that folder is something called a state config file. When, once you've put that into the airplanes folder you can actually delete this state config file and the only thing you will want in there, let's just go back, so we're in here now, we've copied and pasted this fly by wire folder in there. Once we've done that we want to go to our Azobo A320neo, double click in there, and this has got a cameras config file all set up. Let's copy that go back to the airplane folder. Now we can jump into our fly by wire A320neo folder and all we're going to do is paste. Again, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Um, so as I say, you just need to get rid of that uh, state file that you'll find in here. Delete that. Pop this cameras config file in there because you've just copied and pasted that from your default Airbus A320 and that's it. That's all you need to do. Obviously don't do this whilst the simulator is running which is uh, why I've not been copying and pasting things because you can see the simulator is running in the background but then once you've done that launch the simulator and all of your uh, 
camera custom camera angles that were in the default A320 Neo have now been copied over to the flyby wire A320 Neo and there it is simple as that once you know how to do it it's a 30 second job but I know that uh, many of you have been asking uh, for a quick video on uh, on showing that so hope you found that useful if you do have any problems or any uh, questions please leave a comment uh, down below and obviously if you did find that useful please do consider subscribing to uh, to the channel as well thanks for watching guys I'll see you all very soon